Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Here with Mr. DIY Crease. Uh, we are gonna do some, I guess you can call it maintenance, but more of a maintenance slash I made a mistake, so I'm gonna fix it. Um, a part of this E36 build. So basically what happened was um, I overfilled the coolant reservoir. Basic. Um, drove it to work. Excuse me, Chris, I'm vlogging. He didn't call me an idiot. He's, it happens to the best of us. So uh, I drove to work. All of a sudden, boom! Overheating. Shit's hitting the fan. Literally, because it broke my fan inside. So, being the nice person that I am, I bought complete rehaul brand new OEM parts and we're gonna reinstall it right now. We were waiting for the weather to clear up, but guess what? Heated garage, let's get it done. I'll show you guys along the way how to change the fan shroud, the fan itself, and remove any components along the way. But hopefully this helps you guys along the way too on E36. Let's go. You got the new fan right? Yeah. Nope. I had it dude for maybe four months. <clears throat> All right, guys. Sorry, we're filling you in. We just started to work fast because we started really late. Because of me, I woke up late. We took off the tray that was here. Um, we took off the over tray that was above the radiator. Uh, we removed the four bolts in the front. Everything that attached to the fender liner. We pulled the um, front bumper right out. And now we're going to work on just taking out the radiator and things like that. So I'll keep you guys posted. Sorry, we're working fast. We're trying to make some moves. So that's why it's kind of crappy in terms of how I'm keeping up, but hopefully you guys are kind of following along getting it. I bought specialty tools somewhere around here um, that was supposed to be used for uh, the fan clutch, but it's a very tight squeeze, so we might have to make shift and do something else. So hopefully we can make it work. Keep you guys posted, tell you what the dilemmas are. But this car is coming along, guys, coming along. All right, guys, then we removed the four screws that was attaching this under tray um, just to get a little bit more space underneath the car. And now um, there's a few zip ties that were found, so we're cutting those out too. Um, we got replacement screws. And we're gonna keep working through and try to figure out what we need to do in terms of taking things off so we can get this fan blade off with ease. All right, guys, so now we took off the uh, coolant line, this one right here. Detached that, so now we can start getting this tray, this plastic tray off, because I got a brand new one right over there to replace it with. So this front is completely perfect, 100%. We should just drain the All right, guys, so now we have to remove the drain, so that way we can drain the coolant, so it doesn't make that much of a mess. And then I have fresh... BMW coolant, one that's already pre-mixed because we used it before, and the other one that is concentrated, so we just add water and make it happen. Here we go, we got flow. Perfect. Yep, just let it drain. We'll make a new batch, make it fresh, and then we can be on the way to this install. Right now we're just loosening the bottom bracket that's below the reservoir that shows, the shows us when we're full. We're just loosening that so that way we could detach it. It's probably gonna make a little bit of a mess. There might be a better way, but this is how it's going down. So follow along. Oh, this is good. Yep, eruption. Put this in the pre-mix. 
<laughs> Alright guys, so right now we're just removing the two screws that are on this upper radiator hose so that way we can get more space to get the um, fan clutch out of the way. Because there's not a lot of space back here, so you got to remove these two, pull the tube, and then we got the access that we need. Alright guys, so this is how easy it is to remove these, you just go like that. No, I'm just kidding. This is the proper procedure to removing it. It's a double lock system, so you stick a screwdriver in, push it forward, and then you pull it back. So you push it forward, and then you pull it back, and then it releases it. And now the radiator should just pop right out, because we disconnected everything. So here we go with the radiator removal, more leakage, woo! Perfect. There it is. Still connected one oh, let me take this off. Oh, just kidding. We got it. Oh. Right? Yeah. You good? Boom. That's the radiator. It's a bit of the time to get an aftermarket one, but we don't need it. We don't need it. We're not racing. We're just getting to work, but looking clean at the same time. Uh, we are making moves right now. So everything's out of the way. You guys see all that space we just cleared up. We're removing the old tray that I, I technically broke. It was kind of broken on top, but then I took it to the next level when I overfilled the um, coolant reservoir. And that caused the upper radiator uh, line to bust off, fly around, hit the flan blade, break that, cause more damage and break plastic. Chris. <laughs> You know, it's hard. You won't even let me grab the camera. Make my life make you more fun? <laughs> I do like fun. <laughs> All right. Back to the work we're doing. All right, guys. Follow along. All right, guys. Now what's happening is we are loosening the um, idler pulley so that way we could take off all the belts on the car. Um, because anyway, I bought brand new ones. So that way we can replace them. Get the car running as fresh as possible. But um, that will also give us the space that we need in order to work on the top. So I'll show you when we get to that part. But for now, we're just trying to loosen it up. I'm gonna help out Chris so I don't get my ass beat. Let's go. All right, guys. So I bought a tool, which was the 32 millimeter um, wrench, but it was too thick. So we found another trick online, and I'll show you guys. It's actually really smart. You take the serpentine belt, you wrap it around um, that pulley down there that Chris is messing with, and then you wrap it in it on itself. And then the ending you are going to attach to here, right? Yep. right over here. And once you do that, it applies enough tension where you can loosen the top of the fan blade. And it's supposed to be nice and easy because it's only like 30 foot pounds. So it's not that hard to take off. It's a quick trick if you don't have all the tools. So I'll let you know if it works. There's probably going to be a lot of uh, swearing, but we'll get it done. This way, right? To loosen? Yeah, tightening is loosening it. Yeah, hold on. So it's left threaded, they say. You know, I'm new to these terms, so get with it. If I say it wrong, excuse me. It's, so that's why they say it self tightens. That's what I was reading online. They said. So basically, you don't need to apply too much pressure. It should be uh, doing its own job. So you're going to do a clockwise turn, is usually tightened, but it's actually to loosen on this fan clutch. And just like that, voila, the fan falls out. Boom. And I broke another piece of the fin, but that's okay. That's why I bought a brand new fresh fan. This car is going to be idling smooth. I felt a little extra vibration because it was off its harmonics, if that makes sense. Because some of the fins were broken and some were perfect. So it was just not smoothly spinning. So now it should be a lot quieter. And... The road to perfection, this thing is coming along. I'm excited. Now that we removed the three hex bolts, we were able to remove the clutch. clutch. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, you saw me freeze. <laughs> the clutch. And uh, now we're just brushing it off, cleaning it up real smooth, making it nice. So that way we put it on, it feels OEM fresh. Let's go. Project E30, look at that fitment, my God. Okay, Project E36 is coming along. Now the next thing I gotta just order is, because the previous owner left me with the KMAC camera kit, 
I have to buy all the hardware necessary to install it for the KW, so I'm just going to call the company, order all the parts, so that way we just have it ready to install, and then I can drop it off to get the fender roll and the alignment and call it a day. Well, and then we could do the spoiler and the interior and everything else. <laughs> He's so fast. Okay, we installed the new clutch onto the fan, and now we are installing the three hex bolts. Let's get it done. Almost done. Spinning right. It's going to be so smooth. And then new belts, because my old belts, actually, if you take a look, they were cracking. Here, let me see. Hopefully that's in focus, but they were cracking pretty badly. So it's actually good that we're replacing with brand new ones. All right, guys. So right now we're installing the serpentine belt. And for the serpentine belt, we're just following this diagram right here we found online. And we're just, hopefully that gets in focus. Probably not. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that's the diagram we followed that we're putting in the serpentine belt and the accessory belt. And it should be good to go. Oh, here. You're gonna have to. All right, guys, so now we got the belt on. Everything's looking perfect. We got the serpentine, we got the accessory, and now the fan and the clutch is going on. We're gonna tighten it counterclockwise, counterintuitively, but it, that's how it's meant to do. So we're gonna install it, and we'll show you when it's all installed. All right, guys? All right, guys, so now we're rerouting the uh, coolant tubing, the lower radiator tubing, and then the upper mini radiator tubing all inside the um, fan shroud. You can see it all going in there. So now we're just tightening up the uh, little clamp, get it attached to the reservoir. Sorry, under pressure, it's hard to say all the right terms. I'm just gonna keep messing up, so just bear with me. Just look at what we're doing and just follow along. Let's go. Those are all the broken pieces. Looks like a junk here. That radiator we're reusing, so that's not junk. We should have replaced that. Okay, we'll Which one going back? Yes. Is that broken? Yeah. That's I thought that's what I bought. Replacing. Yeah. Well, we gotta put the new one. Oh in. wait, you think it should, we should have done that first? <laughs> we would have been like. <laughs> Now we're just gonna have to make it work, boys and girls. That's what we do. The intake box. Maybe we should remove it in general. Aftermarket intake. What? Let's think about it. Well, this isn't even good. Oh, you don't have to make fun of it. Well, it doesn't even good. Come on, man. Oh man. Come on, man. Don't make fun of it. Man. It's 22 years old, man. It's creaking. There's two bolts. Here. Tons of them. Now we're removing uh, the intake just so we can get um, enough clearance to get to the radiator cooling duct. The new one is right there. Bam! Fresh. Let's grab that. See? Right over there where I'm pointing. And then it's going to be facing this way, going straight into the radiator shroud. Pay back to 100. What'd you say? The intake? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we don't need it. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that gushing uh, disaster right there. I'm changing my um, windshield washer fluid sensor. Uh, because mainly because it was leaking not because it was doing anything wrong but I got it off that um, parts car from the junkyard in the quest for perfection we're gonna add another c-clip like the one here to the other side so that way we can get all the bolts on the top and no bolts are missing this car is a no bolt missing car now trust me we went over pretty much every goddamn thing we pretty much did a cool and overhaul on anything and everything that was messed up so the hosing everything like that was pretty much brand new so i'm assuming the old previous one of the previous owners took care of this or did the full coolant overhaul at one point in its life so now it's pretty fresh and we're just freshening it up to perfection all right guys so now we got everything put back into place 
the under tray is reinstalled. We had to work kind of quick because it was getting kind of late. So sorry I couldn't keep up with everything, but everything is reinstalled. Reverse order of what I showed you. We topped off the coolant right now. Well, not topped off, just poured in the initial pour. Uh, while we're doing that, we're fixing another project because there's always projects that keep popping up. But the other thing was my bumper, the front bumper, the one uh, part on the passenger side right there is a little flimsy, as you can see. So we're going to use um, a tacking method of either JB Weld or some type of Gorilla Glue to keep it in place so that way it stays sturdy on the bumper. Because the bumper itself is flawless. I'm not sure what happened. The original tacks busted or something when they kept removing it probably previously, but we'll make it work. All right, guys, so we applied the glue adhesive and we are just putting a clamp on it so that way it holds for at least like 30 minutes. It should be strong enough. All right, guys, we got the bumper back on. Everything is buttoned up. We did a final check to make sure there was no leaks. We ran the car. The coolant went through all the way. Bubble roll over on the top right on this little beater. And we got to fill up the um, reservoir for the windshield washer, but it's not a big deal. So now we're just going to um, run the coolant through, get the heater to warm up, make sure everything's good on the coolant level. And this is it. It's beautiful. Look at it. Fresh. Factory fresh. Not a single thing missing. Chris is like wild. He doesn't miss a single detail. So everything is exactly as it should be because or else we can't stop working because Chris won't allow that to happen. So <laughs> he's a monster. Everything is beautiful. Oh God. She's back. Just like that guys, we are done. The car is running perfect. The needle is right in the middle. We pressurized the system, and now the heat is running perfect. You know what I mean? Perfect, perfect, perfect. I gotta figure out a new word. All right, other than that, next project is gonna be the camber kit, and then I can drop it off for the alignment. But obviously before that, it's gonna be the fender roll, but we're almost there. And then the spoiler, let's get it done.